the weatherman said that we're supposed to have a hard freeze tonight so I picked the remainder of my turnip greens and my lettuce and spinach over here is my lettuce and spinach here are the turnip greens these uh, turnips should be a giveaway for that greetings friends in a previous video I demonstrated canning using a hot water bath. a hot water bath is suitable when you are canning high acid foods this would include fruits it would also include tomatoes sauerkraut and rhubarb most foods however are not high acid and require canning in a pressure canner this would include any meat fish poultry wild game it would also include most vegetables soups and stews a pressure canner allows the temperature to rise higher than a water bath canner the temperature does not depend on how high you turn the heat the temperature depends on the pressure in the container there are different types of canners and each come with an instruction book and it is very important that you read the instruction book and that you follow the procedures in your book rather than the procedures that I'm giving you here the procedures I'm giving you here are just general procedures and you may need to modify these uh, the amount of time and the pressure that you will use depends on the type of food that you're canning it also depends on the size of the container a pint jar does not have to be processed uh, as long as a quart jar quarts have to be processed longer also uh, some pressure cookers have a constant steady uh, uh, pressure like 15 pounds is typical or some pressure cookers have a, a, a pressure relief valve and a dial this particular one has a variable regulator if you take a look at my red regulator it's marked 5 10 and 15 all right this is for five pounds of pressure you use this one you use this one for 10 pounds of pressure and you use this one for 15 pounds of pressure now according to most of the recipes that are in my canning book it, they require 10 pounds of pressure so I'll be using this one right here so what that means is that you put the 10 mark on the pressure relief valve the canning procedure including the amount of time that you process it and the pressure depends on the recipe that you're using which depends on the type of food that you're canning you will therefore need a good recipe canning recipe book the one that I use is ball blue book guide to home canning freezing and dehydration you just look up what you're canning here peppers potatoes jams turnips I'm going to be canning turnips and greens so you follow the recipe that is in your book and according to my book I'm going to be using 10 pounds of pressure so and I'm going to be pro I'm going to be canning in pint jars so I will process pints for one hour and 10 minutes if I was using quart jars I would process it for one hour and 30 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure that's the reason it's important to have a good recipe book as I mentioned I'm going to be using pint size jars my pressure canner will hold eight pint size jars I'm using the wide mouth jars so I will need the wide mouth lids and of course the wide mouth bands now my canner will hold eight pints but I'm not sure I have enough spinach for eight pints but I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for eight pints and that way I will be ready and I will have extra jars prepared rather than end up with too few jars and what you want to do first of course is you want to wash your jars and then you want to put your jars in boiling water to sterilize them All right, your canner will come with a trivet that fits in the bottom you put this in the canner 
then you put several inches of water. You do not have to put enough water to cover your cans. Uh, just have the water up about, about to here, about halfway up. You just want to make sure you have enough water so that the water does not boil out. Uh, you're actually canning using steam rather than uh, boiling water. So the level of the water is not critical. I'm going to start by sterilizing my jars. I'm going to boil the jars in this container here and it takes a while for the water to get hot so I'm going to go ahead and start this while I'm preparing the food. Now if you'll notice uh, I don't have the waters completely cover the jars completely covered with water that's okay. Um, they don't have to be covered with water because the steam will sterilize the jar. Steam is actually hotter than boiling water so as long as I have the top on this um, they will sterilize even when they're not in the water. Or you don't have to worry about the bands. The bands don't contact uh, the inside of the jar. Uh, the lids have to be sterilized. You don't really want to boil the lids because that will could damage this rubber seal here. Uh, but you do just want to clean them in hot water. So what I do is once my water gets boiling in here, I'll just put the lids in a separate container, just pour hot water from here onto the lids and leave them in the hot water until I get ready to use them. So we'll go ahead and turn on the heat and start heating our jars. And now I'll start preparing the food. Okay, first we want to cut off the turnips and the thick part of the stems. We don't want these goes in the compost. Then you rinse your greens in at least three changes of water. Over here I have my turnips which I've scrubbed with a um, potato cleaning brush. And uh, normally people can their turnip greens and their turnips as two separate events. And because I like to eat my turnips with my turnip greens, I'm going to try something new and I'm going to can my turnips with my turnip greens. Okay, while I'm heating up my jars, I'm going to cook down the turnip greens. I'm just going to cook them down to uh, where they wilt so that uh, I can put them in the jars without um, them shrinking too much in the jars so I can pack the jars properly. And I'm going to cook the turnips for just three minutes. I have just a couple of inches of water in here and just a couple of inches of water in here and I'm just going to cook them for about three minutes. Now these will cook fully in the jars because they are going to cook under pressure for about over an hour so these will be well cooked in the canning process but we just want to cook these down so that they will pack nicely in the jar and we just want to start the cooking process so that the foods are hot when we put them in the hot jars. Okay, the turnip greens have, are cooking down nicely. I'm going to take a knife now and cut through them a few times so that they'll pack in the jars nicely. OK, 
Okay, into the hot jar go some turnip greens. few pieces of turnips one half teaspoon of salt and boiling water till you have one inch head space. Then goes the, the lid, the band. You just tighten the band till you feel resistance, leaving it a little loose. Just tighten till you feel resistance, not too tight. Then into the pressure cooker.